Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views. In today's video, I will show you guys the best jailbreak tweaks for the third week of June 2017. I know this video is a couple days late. I should have uploaded this video two days before, but I had some other stuff to do outside YouTube. So here it is, best jailbreak tweaks of the third week of June 2017. The first tweak for this video is called C Customize and it allows you to customize the look and also add a couple of features to the control center. So you can see the control center looks way more different than the stock iOS 10 control center and I really like this look way better than the stock look. It also add two extra buttons so you will have low power mode here and also the screen recorder right there on the control center. So here are the settings of the tweak. You can enable it right here. Then you have a respring button. You can enable a dark key, a dark uh, control center. And also you can remove the overlay right here. Then you can hide the slider icons. You can hide the slider track. Also you have additional features right here. You can add enabled DND respring so you force touch on the do not disturb button on the control center to respring the device and you can also add the two extra buttons that I said CC record and also low power mode you can add these two buttons to the control center using this tweak. Cam mode this is a pretty cool tweak for the camera app of your iOS 10 device so when you switch between different modes on the camera app it will show you right there the mode that you're on so you can see right there when I switch to video to photo or here when I go ahead and switch to square or to panel it will show you right there the mode that you're on is pretty cool so under the settings all you have here is an enable button where you can enable or disable the tweak. The next tweak for this video is called full safari and it brings iPad like tabs to safari so you can see right here I have three tabs open and I can switch between them directly from here so I don't need to go to the tabs there so you can quickly switch between tabs you will have all of them right here and of course you can also close them you will have that little x button right there and of course you have a plus button here if you want to add a tab and you can see once you tap there it will add the tab right here so a pretty awesome feature to have on the safari app the tweak doesn't have any set settings to configure all you have to do is install it Next up is a tweak called Video Player Rotatable. So if you have the portrait lock enabled on your device, once you want to play the video, once the stock iOS video player comes on, it will automatically disable it so you can rotate your video on the landscape mode. So you can see right here, I have the orientation lock enabled, but if I want to play a video, you can see the moment the video starts, it will disable the orientation lock. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, you have here a few settings. So you have an enable button Then you can go to blacklist apps and you can choose any of the apps in which you want to disable this feature. The next tweak is called creamy and it will bring an iOS 11 feature to iOS 10. So it will add the passcode look from iOS 11 to iOS 10. So you can see the passcode buttons. They look just like on iOS 11. So if you go to the settings of this tweak, what you have here are two buttons so you can enable or disable the tweak right here and you can use a lighter cream if you want to use it or if you want to disable it, just disable this button right there. And the last tweak for this video is called Dock and it will add the look of the dock from iOS 11 on iPads to iOS 10. So you can see the rounded corners here on the dock. It looks pretty cool. It looks way better than the old dock. So you will find this style on the iPad on iOS 11. But to install this tweak, you will need to use Safari and iFile or Filza because it's not on any repo on Cydia. So you need to open the link that you will find in the description of this video. So you will see this web page right here. So just click here, open in Filza, and then all you have to do is just click when you open it in Filza, click here, and then just click install, and then it will respring the device and you will have the tweak installed. So that is it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tweaks, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos, also go ahead and follow me on my social media, you will find all the links in the description of this video.